forward, follow me. If I hesitate, push me. If they, I am a kill me, avenge me. If I am a traitor, kill me. Gangsters, cops, and politicians get ready to rock. We're on a mission. Each one of us shares our own vision. years. Today we will continue with the A names, as in Alpha. First off, I have a Refugio Amaro. I show he had an A number of 65372 and was born in 1937. He was documented as being West Familia in the early 1970s. There was a Robert Dodi Amaro from Sacra. I show that he had an H number of 17699 and then had a T number of 1316. Evidently, this guy was very connected, as he was suspected of being an West Familia associate at a very young age, and was keeping track of northern structure activities all over California in different pintas. But he was only validated as, as northern structure in 2010, and then I show paroled in 2012. I think Dottie's brother was Raymond, a.k.a. Boogie Amaro was also out of Sacra, and I show he had an H number of 74542. He was documented as being Northern Structure in the early 90s through at least the year 2000. There was David Chino Amaya out of Gonzales, who had an E number as an Edward 76670. I show that he was Northern Structure in the mid-90s and did time at Pelican Bay in the year 2000. He then was shipped out to Ironwood State Prison in 2012. There is a Marion Placo, a.k.a. Nano Ambris, who was one of the early West Familia members out of the Los Angeles area, I believe Long Beach. He had a B number, 53870, and was documented as being NF after he left CIM in 1973. He paroled in 1975 and then went to CRC in 1980. And during the early 80s, he had multiple parole violations. He returned to CIM. In 1985, under D number, 15775, he paroled on that number in 1988, but then caught a Berg charge in 1991 when he was assigned H number 260. He then was released and came back on a V number as in Victor, 3587. There was a Johnny Ames out of Sacra. He had a C number of 94266. And I show was documented as being West Familia in the late 1980s. I show he was housed at Corcoran in 2012, but is currently not in custody. There was a Robert Bobby Anaya from San Fran. He had a B number 39201 and was born in 1950. I show he was documented as West Familia in the early 1970s and paroled in 1976. There was an Andrew Lil Indio Ancharo from San Ho. I show he was documented as being an insole and indicted in the 2021 RICO case. There was George Shu Anderson out of the Bay Area. I show that he was convicted of a robbery in 1985, whereby he was given D number 10797. He then paroled, but was convicted on another robbery in 1990, whereby he was given E number as an Edward. 94720. He paroled in 1996, but got busted for some drug charges in 2003 and 2004, where he was housed at the San Francisco County Jail. And his current whereabouts are unknown to me. 
There was Alejandro Drupi Andrade from Santa Rosa. I show you his document as being in Ensel in 2001 and did time at San Quentin Adjustment Center in 2012. He had an 8K number, 7890, but I show is no longer in custody. There was a Juan Carlos Andrade Rosas, who I show went by trips as well as Negro. He was out of Watsonville, but also had ties to Arizona and Mexico, state of Guanajuato. I show he was convicted of attempted 187 in 1995 and was given J number 66178. He was housed at Salinas Valley in 1999 and San Quentin in the year 2000. He then was sent to the feds and housed at the Coleman facility in 2006 under BOP number 96143-008. I show he was released in 2007 and I'm unsure of his current whereabouts. There was Gilbert Cachito E.K. Guaro Anguiano from Tracy. I show he was documented as being most familiar in the mid-1990s and had D number 41213. I then show he was released on that and came back with an H number 29666 and was housed at Salinas Valley State Prison in 2012, but is currently not in custody. There was a Eliciar Angel E.K. Flaco Angulo out of San Juan, but I also show frequented the Watsonville area as well as Texas, as well as the state of Washington. I showed he was documented as being in West Familia in the mid-1970s, but was not validated until 1979. He then ran around the streets of Seattle in 1981 when I lived there. I may have even bumped into this guy because there was not a lot of Latinos and Chicanos in the early 80s, and I knew most of them. I show he was housed at San Quentin in 2001 and Soledad in 2012, but is currently not in custody. There was Leslie Pineapple Antonio. I show he was a North Familia associate at the very least and was indicted in the 1990 RICO case, but was released in December 2008. There was Aaron Gangster Apodaca out of the Bay Area. I show he was North Familia in the late 1990s through at least 2004. He was busted on a forgery charge in 1993, whereby he was given H number 97950. He then was released on that, but came back on a burglary charge in 2004, and was given V number as in Vector 20863. Then showed that he was housed at Pleasant Valley State Prison in 2012, and is currently housed at Avenal State Prison. There was Michael, a.k.a. Little Bat Mike, Apodaca. I recall this guy being seen on multiple Northern Structure roll call lists in the early 90s, but he was not validated until 1995. He did California Youth Authority time in 1986 and got an assault with a deadly weapon charge in 1989, whereby he was assigned E number 35338. I then show he paroled in 1991, but returned on multiple parole violations where he usually did his time in San Quentin. I show he came back to Pelican Bay in 2003 on a firearms charge, whereby he was given T number 86152. He then was released on that, but came back to DBI in 2012 on AK number 7686. And I showed he was housed at DBI in 2012, but is currently not in custody. There was Ricky Tripp Apodaca out of Merced, he was documented as being an end soul in 2009 under V number as in Victor 90929. Also shows he did some time at Pelican Bay Shoe in 2012. And he is currently housed at Salinas Valley State Prison. Sam Cub Apodaca out of Fresno. I show he was documented as being Northern Structure in the late 1980s when he had D number 29660. I show he was at Corcoran in 1991. And I have notes that he may have been shot by a CDC officer at Corcoran. Let me know if you remember the Cub from Fresno. I usually don't mention females' names here, but I feel this one is an important one. Sheila Apodaca was the girlfriend of Silent Lopez, who was a major North Familia gang member indicted on a RICO case. She was killed in 1991 because she was believed to have talked too openly on the phone about NF business. Allegedly, the hit was called from the Santa Clara County Jail by her own boyfriend, Bobby Silent Lopez. There was Louis Bandit Apodaca Duran out of Hayward. I show he was documented as being Nuestra Raza in the 1990s after he was incarcerated on a drive-by shooting in 1994 and given J number 20257. I showed that he was housed at San Quentin, but then released from there. He then caught a dope charge in 97 and was reincarcerated at Q. 
He then had multiple parole violations in the late 1990s, and I lost track of him after that. There was a Joseph Pye article out of Woodland. I show he was a northern structure in the 1980s, but not validated until 1995. Under C number 56995. He then paroled in 1997, but came back with a G number as in George 8220. And I show is currently not in custody. I show him Manuel Aranda, who I believe had a B number. His name was mentioned in the 187 of Rodney Indio Hollingsworth at DVI on June 2nd, 1978. Let me know if you know where Manny Aranda was from. There was Ernest Aranda Cruz, who was from San Bernardino County. He had B number 36097, and his brother was Santos, a.k.a. Pangas Aranda Cruz, who had B number 26603. These guys were hit by the M.A. on December 15, 1972, at Chino, just a couple days before the N.F. kill M.A. icon Cheyenne Carena. I have all the original ports on the hits on Ernie and Pangas, and some sources have documented it different. Some say that there was an Emmy associate named Joey Ortiz who did the stabbings, and that it was ordered by Steve Calote Amador. However, the reports that I have differ quite a bit, as shown here, and that it says per witness was right there when it went down, and this informant actually spoke to Manuel Joker Rodriguez, who was a major M.A. shot caller, and that evidently, even though he promised that he would see what he could do for him, he reneged on that. And the Ronda brothers were hit at 1 p.m. afternoon release in the corridor near Cypress Hall at CIM. As they proceeded into the solid part of the yard exit, he noticed that they were both being followed by Mexican Mafia-affiliated inmates Robert Elias and Frank Ruiz, and that Ruiz attacked Santos Aranya with a shank. At almost the same time, Robert Elias attacked Ernie Aranda with a weapon. After a short period, he began to observe Joker Rodriguez with Angel Ontiveros and Refugio Pena, and they spoke to Ruiz, who had participated in the hit, and appeared to give him and Elias attaboys for the mission they had just completed. This report was investigated and written by Lieutenant R.M. Antrim, who is the second watch commander, on the day that it occurred. Both survived their attacks, and I'm not sure what happened to Ernie, but I show Pangas came back to CDC on a new number and was housed at Mule Creek State Prison in 2012. There was Francisco Big Javi, a.k.a. Speedy Ariano, at a San Fran Mission, IMA. I show he was Northern Structure in the early 1980s and got popped on a dope charge in 1984, whereby he was given C number 96163. Then got out on that, but got popped on a robbery charge in 1986, and was given D number 29837. Then paroled in 1987 on that one, but got popped on a dope charge in 2005, and given V number as in Victor 67000. And that show was in CDC custody in 2006. There was a Nicholas Ariano Cruz, who was out of Watsonville, but also had ties to Washington State and Oregon. I showed he was an NF associate in 1976 and paroled in 1978. He then came back on a robbery slash parole violation in 1978 and paroled again in 1982. He was housed at DVI in 1989 and at San Quentin from 91 through 96. I then show that he was transferred out to Oregon DOC and then was arrested in Seattle several times in 2000 through 2002 and given parole violations. So like I said, there are some NF in Washington State and Oregon as well as other places, in spite of some people saying that there is no such thing. And like I said, I'm pretty sure the guys in the feds are already grooming new ones, especially in the western states where Norteños have strongholds. There was a Federico Freddy Arrivalo out of San Fran. I'm not sure what his CDC number was, but I note that he was documented as being an NS at the California Conservation Center in 1992. I understand that he was big into PCP and was killed in San Jose by NF member Dreamer Fernandez. I believe there's more details on that in John Boxer Mendoza's book. There was Mark Arrivalo. I'm not sure if he was related to Freddy, but he was from San Fran also and had an H number, 13612. I showed that he was documented being in Nuestra Raza in 1997 before they were disbanded. He was housed at Pelican Bay in 2012 and is currently housed at Solano State Prison. There was Leonard Yogi Bear Arias, who I talked about in the Mexican Mafia series. I understand he was made in Nuestra Familia at San Quentin in the early 70s, but was hit by the AME in October 1972 at the Hatchby's Macho program. There was Salvador Arias, Araporos, 
I show he was North Sarasa by 1995, but was validated in 1997. He had J number 56641. I then show he got out on that, but was convicted on a drive-by shooting in 2004, which resulted in a homicide. He then was housed at Corcoran and North Kern State Prison, but it looks like eventually got released on his AG5244 number. It was Edward Eddie Boy Armandaris out of Delano. I show he was West Familia in the late 1980s and had C number 32514. It was Frank Pancho Armenta, who was an West Familia associate documented in the late 1970s. I'm pretty sure he had a C number, but I also show came back on a K number, 83382, and I don't believe he's currently in custody. There was Kim Robert Armenta, a.k.a. Wero from San Jose. He was a West Familia member as documented at San Quentin Adjustment Center in 1974 under B number 45957, but became a hermit by 1976. There is Philip Monster, a.k.a. Filo Armenta, out of San Jose. I showed that he was documented as being an insult in 2009 under V number 9815. Then showed that he was housed at Pelican Bay Shoe in 2012 and is currently housed at Salinas Valley State Prison. There is Andrew, a.k.a. Mijo Armijo, from Hayward. I show he did time in the Youth Authority in 1984 and paroled in 1986. He then was popped on a dope charge in 1989, whereby he was given Edenum 37976. He was in and out of the system during the 90s and was only validated in 1998. I show that he got an assault by prisoner, whereby he used a shank and caught an additional eight years. I believe that happened at Pelican Bay State Prison around 2012. There was Eduardo Little Roche Aroche, had a San Fran Mission. He had a D number of 32961 and was documented as being at least an NF associate. He then paroled in 1994, but was only validated as a northern structure, not an NF. I believe he was because I personally encountered this individual at a gang conference where I taught in Florida for the National Youth Gang Center. He attended the class and sat right up front. I remember he took very detailed notes on my class, and he stood out like a sore thumb. I pretty much assumed that he was a former offender, but then he came up and told me, I'm a AK boxer, AK Little Roach, Aroche. You put my big brother in the hole at New Folsom, remember? I got to admit, I kind of tensed up and freaked out because I wasn't packing then, and I wasn't sure if he was. Then he told me, hey, no worries. It's all good. I'm a gang counselor now. But another one of those true stories that are in my book, The Life and Times of Abato Loco. There was Vincent Arroyo Jr., a.k.a. Chente, from the Chino Sinners. I know that I didn't meet Chente at the Chino Sinners party I mentioned because that happened in the early 80s, and Chente was locked up since the late 70s. He was popped with a robbery manslaughter charge in 1978, but escaped with current NF General Pinky Hernandez from Cuca, which is an old barrio not far away from Chino, and escaped on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 1978. He then was convicted and housed at DVI in 1980. He paroled in 1986, but came back on a parole violation that same year. He paroled in 1987 and then was housed at Corcoran in 1999. There was David Joker Arzate Valenzuela from Modesto. I show he had attempted 187 in Orange County in 1995, whereby he was given J number 78535. He then paroled in 2002, but got a parole violation that same year and was housed at DVI. He then got popped with dope in 2004 and eventually ended up at Tatch Bichu, whereby he was known as a Norse Familia shot caller. Under F number 76243, he then has been housed at Pleasant Valley State Prison since at least 2016. There was a Robert Sticks, a.k.a. Palito Asensio, from San Juan. I show him he was an insult under K number 24672. I show then he was released by at least 2007, but then was popped on a federal charge under BOP number. 10253-111. He did time at Florence in 2008 and Allenwood in 2009, as well as other facilities, and was released in 2018. There is Rule Rascal Atwell. I believe he was in the Capone Sanchez car and has and was in the Santa Clara County Jail in 2003. I show then he hit San Quentin and was assigned on the security squad. I believe he was pulled by Flacco from a convict's perspective around that time frame. And I understand he was schooled by Flacco and Mousy Lerma, who was a long time 
northern structure that that I'm, I believe he had a P number as in Paul, 0017. So it would have been one of the first P numbers. I showed then he was released in early 2007. He then came back with A as in Alpha, Z as in Zebra number. 2260. He was housed at Corcoran in 2021 and I believe was close to Baby Joker Cabrera. And I show Rascal is no longer in custody. There was Albert Beto Avila from San Juan. He was involved in the attack on Brown Bob Viramontes, whereby the NF killed him. Understand that Beto was assigned to wipe down the vehicle, but did not do so as directed and was killed in 1999 by his own homeboys. There was Jesus, a.k.a. Stranger, Avila Morales, no relation to me, from San Juan. This guy was like a walking billboard for the northern structure in West Adasa. He had an E-number, 57117, which he got after he received a parole violation in 1991 for his original charge of possession of stolen property. I then showed that he was charged with an attempted 187 in 1996. He was housed at San Quentin in 1998 and caught several parole violations after that was returned to San Quentin in 2006, but I believe got off that E-number by at least 2007. There was Felix, a.k.a. Fig, a.k.a. Figarelli of Leos from Oakland. He was a loyal member of the Bible Sosa car and had B-number 31474. I show he was in West Familia in the early 70s and committed multiple homicides and assaults on behalf of the organization. He was such a prolific killer that I understand that the Mexican Mafia even considered to sponsor him, but he refused their offer. He was at the California Medical Facility in Vacaville with Crackers Bindiola in the early 70s and housed at Soledad in 1971. He was at San Quentin in 1972 and then shipped off to DVI for much of the 1970s, whereby I believe he was involved in the homicide of an AB member called Trash Man. Like I said, he was considered a very loyal member of Captain Rank to Babo Sosa and was indicted on the RICO case in the late 70s. He then was housed at San Quentin in 82 through 83, but dropped out at Q in 84. He did some time at Vacaville in the late 80s and was housed at New Folsom in the early 90s with Babo Sosa, as seen here. He then was shipped out to Corcoran State Prison, where he is housed in 2013, but is no longer in custody. When I checked recently, Fig was still alive and doing well out on the streets. And so, finally got through the eight. I can't believe it. I'm trying not to leave out anybody important, but I may shorten up some of these individuals. I will definitely show ones that I have pictures of. But let me know in the comments section if there's anybody I left out under any particular letter that you'd like to know about. If you happen to have any old pictures of NF members or even perhaps of yourself, I promise I'll be nice when I get to your name. You can email those to gangpreventionservices at gmail.com. For now, this is Gabe Morales signing off for gangsters, cops, and politicians. If I go forward, follow me. If I hesitate, push me. If they, I am a kill me, avenge me. If I am a traitor, kill me. Gangsters, cops, and politicians get ready to rock. We're on a mission. Each one of us shares our own vision.